क्वेश्चन नंबर 16 डेवलपमेंटली हाइमन इज एंडोडर्मल इन ओरिजिन मीजोडर्मल इन ओरिजिन एक्टोडर्मल इन ओरिजिन पार्टली एंडोडर्मल पार्टली एक्टोडर्मल इन ओरिजिन नाउ फॉर दिस यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ वजाइना एज वेल एज द हाइमन दीज आर पैरा मीजोनेफ्रिक डक्ट्स लेटर ऑन दिस फ्यूजेस टू फॉर्म द यूट्रोवजाइनल कैनाल लाइक दिस व्हिच आफ्टर कैनालाइजेशन फॉर्म्स दिस टाइप ऑफ कैविटी and down below here it's this urogenital sinus so with this utrovaginal canal which is you know mesodermal in origin mesodermal because it's derived from para meso nephric duct also called as wolfian duct urogenital sinus is endodermal this is utrovaginal canal after being canalized so when this approaches towards this urogenital sinus from the lining of this primitive urogenital sinus there is this synovaginal bulb these are the endodermal thickenings proliferated from the wall of the urogenital sinus this is synovaginal bulb now together with the synovaginal bulb i'm drawing it this much portion here to zoom it out so this is the utrovaginal canal and this is the urogenital sinus and this is the synovaginal bulb so the two synovaginal bulb they actually fuse to form a solid plate here so later on what you find is this is the urogenital sinus this is the synovaginal bulb which has proliferated to form a solid plate vaginal plate and from above it's this utrovaginal canal protruding into this now this utrovaginal canal also proliferates within this vaginal plate for the upper one third portion you know this is mesodermal this is endodermal this is the solid vaginal plate later on this vaginal plate gets canalized so in the end what you find is this utrovaginal canal itself gets canalized and it opens here at this internal os to form this cervix as i told you before the part of this mesodermal thickening from the utrovaginal canal it extends in upper one third of the vagina but this vaginal plate that continues to form the lining of the vagina in the lower two third and where it was joining this fundus of this urogenital sinus here also it gets perforated so as to form an opening now what you conclude here that this is the development of vagina upper one third of vagina is lined by mesoderm and the lower two third of the vagina is lined by endoderm what you're seeing here this is called hymen so this vaginal plate which joins this urogenital sinus it was initially imperforated but later on gets perforated and there it's the formation of opening of vagina through the hymen so the hymen you see is completely formed by the urogenital sinus so that means hymen is completely endodermal in origin so the question here was development of hymen is answer you've got it now it is only endodermal in origin